And earlier this morning, I spoke to Jung Jin Wen about her Grand Slam final debut and what she learned from the last two weeks in Melbourne. The rising star also mentioned speaking to Chinese legend Li Na for the first time and the inspiration she derives from her idol. Such a valuable learning experience. It's a bit early to process all that, but what have you learned from not just this final, but the two weeks and your breakthrough here? Oh, actually, I learned a lot from these two weeks. The most important is I found a way how to win, even you don't feel that good, even you don't perform as your best tennis there. I think that's most important because you can't feel well every single day, especially the year is really long. And but I have to say one more time to play against Abalenka, this loss can really make me learn much more than the round before and makes me see what I need to improve more in my game to be able to come back stronger. There's a wonderful video of you 10 years ago watching Lena winning the Australian Open. Can you tell us how special it was to meet your idol here? And did you ever think 10 years ago that this would be you taking this chance to play in the final? Uh -huh. Well, you know, it's such an amazing to meet Lina in the rea reality because when you saw the video, when you talk with real person, that was totally different feeling. And she's really nice and powerful classic woman for me in the reality. And actually, I never think 10 years after I will be on the same. I, I know that I can do it, but I don't know it's going to be 10 years exactly Australia Open. Mm. That was a little bit, you know surprise for me uh yeah you know uh lina has always been my um idol since i was a kid especially you know also i watched her a lot I, when i was a kid as well yeah somebody tell me you think that's destiny and i i just can't say i don't know <laughs>